Hey YouTubers, uh, Farmberry Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Fridays, um, I picked up uh, two really nice pieces today. Um, I wanted to go in a little different way. I wanted to get something that had like, uh, it really moved with the flow in the tank and looked more natural. So I ended up picking up a purple Gornia, the one that's on my right here that's floating and acclimating. It's really nice. It actually looks like a, like a, you know, it looks like a plant, but it's actually a live organism. So, and then the other coral I picked up today too is actually, it's called a brain uh, maize coral. Um, it's uh, green. And that it, it, this one is a rounding one and it crusts over the rock. So it's gonna look really nice. And that's the one that's here on my left. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them out of the bag. Um, they've been acclimating for about an hour now. Uh, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna place them and what application I'm gonna use. Um, the other application I'm gonna use today is um, I got uh, like Coral Fix uh, glue, like we used in my other videos. It's really great stuff. It's really holding the other frags we put on. And we're gonna use uh, the Aquascape uh, putty. It looks like coralline algae when you mix the two together. It's nice, so you put it on the rock and then you can imprint the coral into it and then you can add the glue to the coral and then you can press it in and it makes a better fit. Definitely uh, definitely worth getting. This was about $12.99. I picked that up today, it's really good. So before we go ahead and do all this, we're gonna use the Revive Coral Dip on these. Make sure we have no pests going into our tank. We don't wanna get a, you know an issue going on in there when you try to get everything, everything as good as we go here, you know? because we uh, invest so much money, we don't want to put any more pests in our tank, so we gotta make sure we keep everything safe. So I'm not gonna go downstairs, and I'm gonna use the Coral Revive Dip uh, from a Julian Sprung, it's really good stuff. And the same thing with uh, the glue, the Julian Sprung uh, Three Little Fishes glue, it's really good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead right now, I'm gonna take them out of the bags, I'm gonna take them downstairs to the lab, and we're gonna, we're gonna use the Revive on them, and then we'll go from there, guys. All right, guys, so there's the, the brain coral right there, the maize brain coral, so I got it in the, Revive dip right now, so I'm just uh, letting it soak. I'm just gonna make sure we don't get any little pests on it. See, it's looking pretty sweet. You guys can see the green color, so it's gonna look really nice under the atinix. Try to get you guys up close and personal here. See if we see any critters coming off. Seems to be pretty clean so far, but we gotta give it some time. If you read the keeping, you know, the instructions on the coral, on the coral dips, is at least 15 minutes in the dip. Just keep agitating the water. The more we can keep the pests out of our tanks, the better. All right, guys, so we just got them out of the coral dip there right now, or the revive. So I'm going to show you guys before I end up putting them in a tank. So I got them right here. I got them in some uh, nice clean water. Um, first, I'm going to show you is the purple uh, gonoporia. So I'm just going to get it out here. They're making a mess. It's a really big specimen, you guys can see that. Right there, it looks like a tree almost, or a plant. So that's the purple uh, Gronoporia. And then the other one here, get it out. It's gonna be hard to see the colors, but that's the, see that? That's the open brain maze. And it, this is like a green color, so it's gonna be really nice. You can see it's starting to encrust on the edges already, so I'm gonna glue that up on a rock and that'll really start to encrust. So yeah, that's the brain maize coral. So that's the two pieces, guys, up and close and personal. So right now, I'm gonna get them into the main display tank. I'm gonna glue them and use the putty and show you guys where I end up putting them, all right? And the other thing uh, with the, the gonoporia here, it's, uh, it's photosynthetic, so it really needs uh, bright light to, to feed. It needs the light to feed, not compared to the other ones that you have to actually feed them. So th that's why these ones are nice for in the, your reef tank. You don't have to, you don't have to feed them, they just feed off the light. So I'm gonna place these guys. All right guys, so I got the corals all mounted in there now. Um, I end up uh, mounting the purple uh, Gornia near the top where there's lots of light and moderate flow. Um, the reason why I put it so high in the tank because it's a uh, photosynthetic, it, uh, it feeds off the light, this kind of Gornia. Um, the, other, the other kinds you can get are more, you have to feed them. So this one's definitely, uh, definitely the better choice for in the reef tank. So that's why I stuck it in that area. Um, I end up using the glue and the putty. I just put the putty around the plug. I molded it. As soon as you put it in the mold, and then you can put some glue in the mold, and then glue the coral plug inside uh, inside the putty, and then you can stick it in the rock work and mold it in, so it holds really, really well. And then the other spot, I end up putting the the maize uh, brain coral was over here on the right. 
Um, so it's in moderate flow. It doesn't like too much flow, um, but it likes the light. So I had to put it in that area. I ended up using the glue in the putty application. It worked really well the same. I made a mold of it, stuck it in the rock, put the glue, push the coral into it, and holds it really, really well. And uh, that coral, I'm gonna feed at night because his tentacles come out at night. And this way, I'm gonna end up, by, uh, I usually feed, I feed my uh, corals uh, reefroids. They love this stuff. You can see in my other video when I uh, spot feed them there, just the tentacles come out and they feed on that like really like crazy. I find the more food you have in the water column, the better uh, coloration you get on your corals. So I'm gonna bring you guys in close here so you guys can see the color of the, the brain uh, maize coral. It's a really nice green color. I haven't seen it under the light yet, so you guys are gonna be the first as I'm gonna see it as well. And then we have the purple gornia. It's gonna be great. So let's go, let's check out these corals. Um, I got my reef link up there ready to roll. So let's uh, let's start turning the lights down, get them down to the blues and see what we got guys. All right. All right guys, so let's start playing with some colors here. So I got the reef link open. So let's see what we can do here. So I'm gonna take the reds right down to zero. So we'll turn them right down. We'll turn the greens right down. So now we're starting to change a little bit of color guys. So let's turn the cool whites right off. So now we're into the blue mode. So it's starting to pop there a bit now. So let's take the blues down to about 35%. All right, keep dropping them a little bit more. This way we can keep playing with it. So let's drop the royal blues down. Start bringing them down a bit. So you can see, see that they're starting to pop there now. If we go into our presets, we can go to a polyfluorescence. It really makes them pop. So I'm gonna bring you guys in closer right now. Let's check it out, guys. All right, guys, so there's the brain coral. Um, that's the maze uh, brain coral right there, the green. So you guys can see how it looks like a maze. So that's what it is under the lights right now. That's just full spectrum. Um, we can start, we'll try to turn it on. That's full spectrum. So right now we'll start turning using the reef link. We're gonna turn these down. We'll get a closer uh, picture. So let's take our reds right down. Let's take our greens right down. Let's take our cool whites right down. So now it's starting to change up a little bit. That's where I wish I had a filter. So let's take our blues down a bit more. So this is gonna start maybe popping the green a bit. Bring our blues down. So you guys can see how the maze is, the two different colors, it's pretty sweet. I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer here. So there you go. You guys can see how this look like. It looks like a maze. Let's play a little bit more here. Let's see what we can do for colors. Keep tweaking it. 10%. 8%. Then we'll take our royal blues. 10%. 9%. We're down to 5%. Let's bring up the blue a little bit. There we go. So yeah, it's a pretty sweet coral, guys. All right, so let's move on to the, the purple gornia. All right, guys, so there's the gornia, the beautiful uh, purple gornia. We're gonna get photobombed here a few times. My blonde Nasso, he likes to get in the pictures. So yeah, you guys can see see all the fuzz. It looks like a plant, but you know, it's a live animal. That's really sweet. Um, the lights aren't really gonna do too much to it because what you see is what you get. But we can try uh, turning these down and see what happens. So let's take our reds right down. Let's take our greens right down. Let's bring our cool whites down. Let's bring our blues down to 15%. Let's bring our royal blue down. So you can see it's you know what I mean it is not really as much you know there's no algae in its skin to really make it fluorescent so but it's beautiful when the when everything's turned right up full blast you know what I mean beautiful so that's the purple gornia guys so just for fun let's let's try uh, one of the presets let's try polyfluorescence on this one yeah that's pretty sweet with the polyfluorescence guys you see it it really makes things look pretty wild. Even the fish look crazy with the polyfluorescence, eh? That's uh that's a pre that's a preset on the reef link for the radions.
All right, guys, so uh, that's Coral Friday this week. Um, I hope you like, guys like these uh, two new specimens of coral I got. Um, I really like them. I can't wait for them to grow and so I can frag them up. Um, if you guys have any questions or like to see any corals go into the, my display tank, uh, please leave your uh, comments below and uh, I'll definitely get back to you guys and if I can find those corals, I'll put them in my tank. Um, the other thing is too, I have a, a club on uh, Facebook, Farm Boy Reef Club. It start, it's really growing. Uh, I'm soon gonna have uh, 2,500 uh, subscribers. You guys, please uh, join the club. Uh, hit it up. A lot of great people on there. We got Pines, James, uh, Richard. Everyone's on there. It's really great information. If you're a new, if you're new into the salt water, there's a lot of guys on there. Definitely help you out. So please come over and join the, the Farmberry family. More than happy to have you. Um, so yeah. So there's another episode of Coral Fridays next Friday. Hopefully you guys uh, leave some comments. Um, if I can find that coral, I'll definitely uh, get it in the display tank and uh, talk about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Hit the like button, and uh, we'll move on to next week. You never know what I'm going to get. And uh, stay tuned for uh, the two reef tank builds, uh, 20 gallons for the kids. Um, I got all the supplies, so that'll be coming up very soon. Uh, sons can't wait to get their tanks. So have a good night, guys. Bye.